By the way, there's not gonna be a new video on Friday because I'm going to be putting a lot of time and effort into getting the Chris Jocelyn shoe review done. So, there's that too. Welcome back to this number one skateboarding YouTube channel in the world, backed by math, science, facts, and statistics. And if you have not been paying attention, I have been giving away a pair of shoes in every single one of my videos, and I'm gonna keep doing it for as long as I possibly can. So, this man right here just won himself a pair of Jocelyn 2s, and if you want to win a pair of Jocelyn 2s, all you gotta do is join this climb to a million, and hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below, and shoot a DM to the not sponsored Instagram, because I did have it go to my Instagram, but I want to be able to interact and respond to you guys, so my personal Instagram, just for you guys to talk to me if you want to DM me something, and not sponsored Instagram, try to win shoes. So now, I'm going to go into as much depth and detail as I possibly can about how you can learn how to do your ollie. This trick is way easier than you think it is, and after you learn it, you'll be like, oh, that's all it is, and you'll do it all the time. Let's get started. Learning how to ollie is the most essential trick that you need to learn when you start skateboarding. Without learning how to do this fundamental trick, you will not understand how to do kick flips, heel flips, or any flipping type of trick that you want to do. When you set up to do an ollie, your front foot is going to be a little bit below the bolts at a slight angle, with most of your pressure being put on your toes. You're gonna have your back foot be directly in the middle of your tail, about one or two inches away from the end of your board. After you're set up, you're gonna bend down with your knees, keeping the pressure on your toes and having your body weight directly over your board. And with all that pressure built up in your toes, you're gonna push your tail down to make that board pop. While at the same time, letting your front foot slide up with your ankle bent, letting the side of your shoe slide up the board. Once the nose of your board has reached its maximum height, you push the nose forward with your front foot and bring your back foot's knee up towards your chest. Sliding your front foot forward at the nose's highest point will make the board even out. And bringing your back foot's knee up to your chest will allow that board to even out and maybe even make that nose dip a little bit, giving you a little bit of style. Respect. Check out the motions necessary to make this trick happen without the board and just the board alone. Put yourself doing these motions together with the board and you have yourself an ollie. A very important thing to note is the way that your back foot makes the board pop. When you are popping, your back foot will never be touching the board while your tail is popping off the ground. You are jumping off of the board literally about an inch before your tail makes contact with the ground. So try to focus on hitting that sweet spot when you're popping. Remember to slide the side of your shoe up the board and only let the bottom of your shoe make contact with the board again after the board has reached the peak of its pop. One of the most common mistakes that I see people make when they try to learn how to ollie is that they do not jump up high enough to give them the necessary amount of time that they need to make an ollie happen. This is because they're just slamming their tail into the ground and not jumping off their board at the right time to allow that board to pop. Making you do a little rocket ollie, which actually isn't an ollie, but more just slamming your tail on the ground and jumping up a little bit. After you feel like you got it down, work on trying to pop some ollies over some stuff. I have never really been good at popping ollies over anything, so I was able to pop an ollie over the bench, but then I stacked the bench on top of the bench, and I was able to ollie over that. So no matter what level of skateboarding you get to, there's always something simple that you can do when you skate that still makes you extremely happy. <laughs> yeah, I never ollie over anything. And after you learn how to ollie over something, maybe even take it down a set of stairs. But that's a completely different tutorial that I will make for you guys later. Hopefully that gives you guys a little bit of a different perspective on how to do an ollie. So if you have a comment that you think might help the audience, then leave it down below. And if I think that'll help, I'll go ahead and pin it to the top of the comments. So go ahead and go outside, do a little ollie off a curb or maybe over a couple boards and give that subscribe a little love button. And what, what's that you're trying to tell me? Are you telling me that you're one of the thousands of people who downloaded the sticker app but have not hit subscribe yet? Well, why not? Christian, there's just not enough stickers yet for me to subscribe. <laughs> Lucky for you that there's an endless supply of animations added to the app just for you subscribers. So download my sticker app in the description down below and hit that subscribe button for the endless amount of updates.
Ollieing over that thing was so hard for me. I don't ollie over anything. I, I can barely ollie over like, I think the most boards I've ever ollied over was like four, which is like, that's not that much. That's like pretty small. Like all my friends can ollie really high, I don't. So me ollieing over that thing made me so happy. Made me really happy. Um, but yeah, that was, I, said it, I said it earlier, but no matter how good you get at skating, there's always something that you can do that's a simple essential thing in skating that you just never took time to learn that you could just do and then it'll make you really happy it might be like scary for you or something but no matter what level you get to anything of any it doesn't have to be skating whatever you could always go to the very basic of that thing that you were doing and it'll make you really happy when you accomplish it and you accomplish it well because i don't ollie good ever but these ollies were pretty good and i was really happy about it so don't let anyone discourage you from doing what you want to do uh even if it's just alling off a curb or up a curb if you're hyped on it and you want to post it on instagram or post it anywhere do it do it and if someone's like says any like bs you guess what they did not get the happiness that you got out of alling off or up that curb if they're like all it is is all up a curb be like hey that's my ollie up curb and it made me really happy so then you flip them off and tell them to go because what makes you happy doesn't have to make anyone else happy hopefully my videos make you guys happy but it makes me happy um after i'm done with them sometimes i get in the middle of loading i'm like oh. but anyways i'm rambling all right go go skate later